How's it going, beautiful people? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, coming to you from the car studio. I uh, I needed some paint, so I need to go get some paint, and uh, then I'm going to head back to the studio and work on some cool stuff. How's it going, Artista Plastica, Ellie Young? Good to see you here. Let me wave. Wave! Oh, so, guys... It's going to be super cool. Um, I'm super thrilled to share with you guys some of the stuff I've been working on. For you artists out there, I know some of you are artists and I've been working on some very cool uh, material to get you guys going. If you if you haven't sold stuff yet or if you're having a hard time selling stuff uh, online, I've been working on some materials. I've been working on some marketing stuff. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how is it that I've been able to uh, make a living selling my artwork. How is it that I've been able to make a living uh, creating artwork, selling artwork. I've managed to make uh, a full-time living as an artist. I've sold thousands of pieces. I've created <laughs> thousands of pieces. <laughs> but... Uh, it's been a def it's definitely been a ride for me. I've uh, my first year selling artwork, I sold over a hundred thousand uh, dollars. My my very first year, and then I sold two hundred, and then three hundred, and and it just keeps growing. Uh, so I think I'm, I think I know a thing or two about selling artwork, about getting it into the marketplace. It's not easy, but it is doable. And I'm creating I'm creating uh, material to help people. You know, help people out there that are getting started and, and want to know how to do that. Or maybe you are, maybe you are selling artwork already. You know, maybe you're like, dude, whatever, I sell artwork. But do you do it consistently? Do you do you do you do you do it all the time? Do you uh, do you make a living at it? You know, and if you don't, power to you. If you do, power to you. But if you want to, if you want to. And you don't know how to, maybe I can help, you know? So, I don't know. Maybe I can help. So, we'll see about that. Did you do it, babe? I did. No. Okay. So, those of you who are interested in uh, learning more, let me know. I'm also doing coaching. The coaching used to be $150 an hour. Uh... Until yesterday, now it's two hundred dollars an hour for a one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's uh, I wish I I wish I had that opportunity, right? Because there's a lot of people out there coaching. There's a lot of people coaching artists, but they're not real. They're not really artists. They're more like marketers or something like that, you know, something else. And many times they don't understand the implications of being an artist you know many times they don't understand I know I know there's a handful of people just because the the, the bar got low uh, the entry got low the entry bar got low on Facebook ads and and now Instagram ads and I know there's a lot of people out there they're like oh I'm gonna show you how to sell artwork I'm gonna show you how to sell artwork but uh, I don't know maybe they can who knows Whoever, right? Whoever can. But I've seen that a lot of them are not artists. And it's, it's a little difficult to try to show someone how to sell artwork if they're not an artist. If they're not working at it. Especially if they're not doing it right now. If they did it some time ago. Or maybe they they have some uh, some experience selling artwork or market, marketing artwork. But, but they, don't, they don't necessarily create it. Uh... I don't know. I think that it's not. I wouldn't. I, I personally wouldn't take advice from someone who's not selling artwork. And it's like, oh, I'm gonna show you how to sell artwork. Really? Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Do you sell artwork? No, I don't sell artwork. But I'm gonna show you how to sell artwork. No, no, no. I mean, call it what it is, right? If you're gonna, if you're gonna show someone how to, if you sell stuff, like, be like, okay, well, I have experience selling this, but I'm sure artwork wouldn't be that much different. 
here I'm going to show you how to sell. That's different. Or I'm going to show you how to how to market. You know, that's different. But specifically artwork, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I have a thing for, for, for people who don't keep it real. Especially when, when, when you're talking about helping other people and and uh, interrupting lives of, of other people, like artists. It tends to be a bit... Uh, I'm not open yet, huh? But it's 9.30, huh? 9.30, yeah. I'll open it a little bit. But it tends to be about... Look, if, if, if you're an artist and you're selling, you're selling your artwork and you know how to do that, that's awesome, right? And if you're marketing yourself as someone who knows how to do that, that's pretty cool. But if you're not an artist and you're telling other people, look, I'm going to show you how to sell artwork and you've never sold artwork, uh, or you, I don't know. You don't have to be an artist to sell artwork, but if you never sold artwork, that's that's where it kind of you know it kind of gets me there because I, I see a lot of people doing that, and I think it's not fair to to uh, to other artists out there. I don't think it's fair. But anyways, that's a whole other thing. It turned into a rant. Hmm. So yeah, guys. Uh, my name for those of you who don't know me. Uh, I'm sure most of you don't know me. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I'm a full-time artist. I live with this beautiful lady. She's my girl. She puts up with me. How's it going, Carol? She puts up with my craziness. Together, we uh, work in my art studio. And uh, we are able to, to make a living creating artwork, selling artwork, uh, doing different stuff around around art, but primarily selling artwork, which is, is, is the thing, right? It's, it's the main thing. Keep the main thing the main thing. So uh, I think I know a thing or two, and, and so does she. We know a thing or two about selling artwork, about marketing artwork, about getting it into the marketplace and getting getting paid for it. And if you're an artist and you're having a hard time doing that, now what, what do I say? We know a thing or two on it because we're able to make we're able to make a living. Uh, making a living means so many things, right? Uh, I know some artists who make, uh, and this this is not a comparison game in no way. I'm just saying like it, it means different things. I know some artists who sell you know ten thousand dollars worth of art a year and they say they make a living right or they make or they sell artwork it, it, which is true i don't know about the part of making a living but but they sell artwork they sell it one piece a month uh for a thousand bucks or 800 bucks or something like that you know or two pieces for 400 bucks or anything like that uh and they're able to manage to bring in you know an extra ten twelve thousand dollars a month a year that's awesome Right, power to them. We don't do that. We we make multiple six figures a year. We we we, we run a, a small business selling artwork. And so the small the small business is an art studio. I know uh, it's kind of it's it's a little bit hard to for some people to wrap their brains around. They're like, well, how, how are you doing it? You know. Well, that's the trick I'm trying to show you. <laughs> I know when I talk to people, uh, I'm at a lunch or a dinner or whatever, and people are like, "People are like, what do you do?" I'm like, "I'm an artist." Oh, okay, cool. But what do you do for for work? I'm like, oh, "Fool, that's what I do. I'm an artist." <laughs> it's a little bit hard to wrap around because most most people uh, who are artists, they they have another job or another income stream or or different income streams and then they get to be an artist and and maybe being an artist creates an income stream as well and then they just tie it together to other to other income streams uh so will you be offering a class yes i'm going to be offering multiple classes i'm going to be offering uh marketing marketing one-on-one marketing for artists getting started how to build your email list that's another class that's a class on its own uh how to get how to get uh facebook facebook fans the easy way and and uh the cheap way 
actually. It's not it's not free, but there is a way to get to get fans to your Facebook fan page and because they 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 convert to buyers. This is what a lot of people uh have a hard time with. They're trying to sell to the same 500 followers on their Facebook page and it's very it's very unlikely to sustain a sale flow, a selling flow, right? An income stream from 500 people that follow you on your Facebook page. Even if it's two, 3,000 people, it's very difficult, right? To continue to, to, to market to these people over and over, even if they're buyers, even if they're, 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 a lot of them are buyers. It, 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 you have to make the pool bigger. And I know how to do that. I managed to, to get, I think, 15,000 now fans on my Facebook page. And, and I figure out a way to do that. Now, it's not, it wasn't free. It wasn't easy, but I know how to do that, and and I'm I'm doing classes for that. I'm I'm putting together these classes. I have over a thousand videos, free videos, of course, on YouTube, where I talk about every angle of being an artist, and I give a lot of free content about uh, monetizing, uh, how to get started, and on and on and on. But this classes that I'm going to be doing, and this marketing. Uh, Marketing classes are going to be. Do you sell at shows or do you only sell online? I sell both. I sell everywhere. I do art shows. I sell online. Uh, I sell face to face, toe to toe. Uh, different. I, I do the whole thing. I don't. I don't like. I don't like just to to put all my eggs in one basket. I do the whole thing. Uh, I missed out on some stuff because I focused too much online. I have. I am guilty of that. I have focused a lot online. And online is good. That's why I focused on it. But but I'm getting back to other stuff as well lately. Because it's just it's so important to keep it all. right? To do online. To do offline. To do uh, email marketing. To, do, uh, to work with other professionals. To work with interior designers, with art dealers, it's very important to to start getting. And the only way that you start getting to that is 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 to start going wide, to start going wide, to start meeting people, to start uh, opening the funnel, right? Opening the funnel, so that everybody becomes a prospect. I know this is a, a, a difficult, many times a difficult uh, way of looking at things. Because most of us have the boutique mentality. Most artists have this boutique mentality where like, oh, I'm going to work with a handful of highly, uh, I don't know, like the, the best prospects, right? Uh, and, and I'm going to give them the best possible, I don't know, customer service and on and on and my work is going to be so high end and this and that that's a beautiful thing it's very uh it sounds very smart it sounds very cool unfortunately that is not that is not always the case when it comes uh to to getting sales it's called uh that's called uh, the boutique approach there's a there's a great book out there called the Blue Ocean Strategy that talks about it. I've read that book about I don't know like eight over eight years ago or something like that. It's, it's a great book. It talks all about that, but that's not my approach. I don't like it because it neglects the the it neglects just about everyone. You know, it it it, it basically and that's I think that's where a lot of artists are stuck. I know because I was stuck there. A lot of artists are stuck in, I'm going to find the right collector and I'm going to create the right artwork and I'm going to marry the two. And in order to do that, in order to do that, it's so difficult. Like you need to go through a lot of people. So what I do, my approach is more retail. How can I approach a lot of people, give everybody something, right? And then from all of those people that I give everybody something that, that I have, I have a product for everyone, I have different tier tier uh, pricing. Uh, out of all of those people, some of them are going to not. They're not going to want a a a, uh, a low entry product. They're going to want. Uh, uh, they're not going to want a fifty dollar print. They're going to want uh, or a hundred dollar little study painting study. They're going to want a two thousand dollar painting, or they're going to want a five thousand dollar portrait. 
or a commission or whatever. Some of those people are going to want that. So I'm, I'm screening them. I'm constantly screening them. And I don't neglect anybody. Everybody gets in the pool. Why? Because I've, because it's experience has taught me this. People that I've sold, uh, I don't know, a drawing for $20, a charcoal drawing, it's the same person that a year later buys a $5,000 commission, you know? Or it's the same person that every month buys a $500 painting every month of the year. It's the same person, but they started with a $20 product. So I don't neglect anybody. Experience has taught me that eb everyone comes in. Have something for everyone. Yeah, good point. Absolutely. I think that that's the new way of, of, of running an art studio. I think the, the old way was, I, I don't think, I know, I know this for sure. The old way of running an art studio is I have very low entry point, like, like, uh, little prints and greeting cards and bullshit like that. And then I have five, six, $10,000 paintings and nothing in between. Right. So that what that does, what that does is that it neglects the whole market. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you bought a $10,000 painting? You know, and most people are like, well, I wouldn't buy it. That's why I sell it. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. If you're not if you're not willing to buy, what makes you think that someone else is willing to buy it? You know, it, it's it's. It really, it really has to do with, with how, how you feel about it, you know, how you feel about it. One, one of my mentors said, look, if you want to sell, if you want to sell $5,000 paintings, you got to buy $5,000 products so that you understand, so that you understand the psychology of it, so that you, you feel comfortable asking for, asking someone for $5,000, asking someone for $10,000, asking someone for $20,000. You have to be comfortable with that. And you have to be able to, 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 to purchase products at that level. So there's different little things that I've learned. Uh, I've been an artist for over 20 years. There's different things that I've learned. And I started uh, not until uh, about six years ago, almost going, going to seven now, that I made a full-time living. My first year, I made over six figures. Uh, I made a six-figure income the first year that I started. And it's just been growing since. And uh, I've managed to learn a couple of things. You know, I managed to learn a thing or two, and and uh, I kept it to myself. I didn't. I had no intention on sharing that. Why? I mean, you know, I was doing just fine, just keeping this this uh, experiential knowledge. It wasn't knowledge from a book. You're not gonna find this stuff in a book. This is from experience. So I was gonna keep this to myself and just continue to, you know, run my studio, monetize and whatnot, uh, take care of my family. But it got to a point where a lot of people started asking me, hey, how did you do it? How did you do it? And I was like, oh, man, like, I think I'm being selfish here. I'm not really sharing this with other people. So that's why I started, uh, you know, just trying to help people. And I started doing it for free. I started giving advice, free advice to friends and, and you know, family and whatnot. And what happened is that free stuff, uh, people don't believe in free, right? This is this is this is one of the reasons why I, I stopped doing it for free. Uh, I wasn't I had no intention of making a business out of it or anything like that. I still don't. I don't do that for a living. I don't coach for a living. That's just something that I do on the side just to help a couple of people uh, every now and then. But uh, but when I started doing it, I was I was you know, freely giving away advice. I was like, hey, by the way, this is how you can start monetizing with your artwork. And I noticed that a lot of artists were like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know it. You know, blah, blah, blah. And then they go to someone else and pay someone for advice. I've noticed that, right? They paid someone for advice uh, asking people that had no idea about selling art or had no experience, you know, marketing and selling artwork. So I started understanding, oh, okay, well, People don't really uh, don't hold value on free, you know. People really don't hold value on free. Uh, so, so what I started doing was like, you know what? I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna start charging. I'm not gonna charge much. I, I was doing a uh, hundred and fifty an hour for coaching and ninety dollars for thirty minutes. But uh, uh, I got I got quite a few people 
uh, getting into my coaching calls that I was like, you know what? No, it's, it's not even, it's not really worth it in my studio. Right. Cause, cause, cause I got so much other stuff to do with my studio other than coaching. I was like, no, you know what? Uh, so yesterday I raised it to $200 an hour. So, uh, you missed the window if, if you wanted to, uh, jump into that for the, for the 150. But I mean, it's still unbelievable value. I wish I had it when I was starting out. I had to learn it the hard way. I had to learn it with, uh, with the hard knocks, but, uh, Anyways, that's what I'm doing now. So I'll leave you guys with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. If you want to know more about it, if you want a, a little free consultation, a free one-on-one, -on -one, we can do a, we can do a freebie for uh, a 15-minute freebie. That's that's as much as I'll carry uh, uh, something just to just to introduce yourself or introduce myself and 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 see if I'm able if I'm even able to help you. You know, because I might not. You might be in a, in a in a whole different situation where, where I'm gonna be honest with you. If I can't help you, I'm not I'm not gonna take your money. Or if I if I if I take your money, and you didn't feel like I help you, I'll give it back, like that. I don't want to keep your money. You know, if I if you didn't feel like I I helped you, so that's how I run it. My name's Jose Trujillo. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna be posting on on Instagram. Thank you so much. Uh, Su S Soder. I think I pronounced it right. I don't know. Su uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to post it on Instagram and I'm going to let you guys know when the classes are up. Uh, and it's going to be awesome. All right. I'll let you guys know how to sign up. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.